Hello everyone, welcome to this channel and in this video I'm going to show you on how to export your access file like your table, queries and reports to Microsoft Excel with customized name. In order for you to have an idea, I will show you my sample like this one, reports and we will try the inventory valuation. Click export to Excel. Let us wait for a while. Export it successfully. Now let us go to my desktop. There's a folder named inventory folder. And here we go. Inventory, this is the name of the file in access. And followed by to this date, which is January 30, 2022. So how to do this? If you are still interested, please watch this video until the end and please do subscribe. Let us go to design view. And also this one. The file we are going to export is the inventory, this one. And then, the name of this frame is frame 4. And then the value is number 7. Let us start with if. If me that frame 4 is equals to 7, then open or export to Excel. So, do CMD output to EC. So, that's a query. So, we will output query. And the name of the file is inventory. And then, this is the usual we're doing. EC format xl is x and then skip 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 and then select this one export quality print before i forget and f okay when we click this one export okay inventory so this is the the usual way of exporting the file to excel let us close and let us continue after this format output file so let's put something like this one and here beam file path as string and also dim file name as string file path equals environ user profile by the way environ user profile this is your drive c slash user slash the name of your PC. So this is our uh, file path. And we will include the desktop because we will save the data in the desktop. And slash the name of the folder or the name of the file is inventory. And then file name equals this one the file path so let's type file path and don't forget to put the extension that xl is x okay, that one so now let's try let us save this first okay export to excel Okay, let us go to the desktop. So, inventory. So, this is the file. So, let us add the date. So, to add the date, let's put and calls as of
and then and so the date format date mm or month date year and this one so now let's us try again export okay let's go to my desktop so here we go inventory as of january 30 2022 so now the question is what if you're going or you want to save this in a specific folder in your desktop so all you have to do is to create a file path or a file path with a folder so here let's put oh, let's continue the coding in this tab let's put a folder inventory okay slash okay that one so now let us try okay can save the output data to the uh, you've selected file meaning to say there's no folder name inventory folder and this this tab so to resolve this bug we have to let the database access create a folder for that so on error let's put if the name of the folder does not exist then let the system create on error resume next let's use the mk dir function by the way mkdir this is the abbreviation of make directory if there's no folder exists then this function will create a folder for it so we will copy paste this one until here copy and let's add quotation so let us try click export okay done let us go to this tab here we go so inventory folder when we open this the file is here inventory as of january 30 2022 let us continue If after the exportation, there's a message MSG exported successfully. Okay, close. Click export. Exported successfully. And it's in this folder. So, I hope this video helps you a lot. And if you like this video, please like. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. That's all. Thank you and see you to my next video.